Yeah, so, I mean, we all know that Bill Gates has shown us uh, multiple times that he, he's not a friend to us, right? He, he wants to control, he wants to buy up, monopolize as much as possible. So, you know, he's been behind uh, several research and development uh, in food ingredients, fake meats, medicine. On top of that, he's, you know, he's funded uh, multitudes of medical research, which his focus right now through his foundation is to basically monop monopolize food and medical yeah. breakthroughs and, and hands around and, the and world. real quick before you yeah. start i just want to put this in there real quick but he's he's also spent billions if not yeah. tens of billions of dollars on yeah. monopolizing the farming yeah. and also fertilizer yeah. market in the continent of africa that's yeah. huge that's yeah huge. and he's yeah he's like the second biggest uh, second or the first uh the biggest private landowner or farm landowner here in the united states yeah, he's the first yeah yeah so again many times we, we talked about this channel you, you guys can go check out some videos of some more in-depth in the last two years he's been constantly flashing cards and signs and clues saying oh we got to be careful with the next pandemic it's coming it's gonna be worse people will pay attention literally he said oh i think the next one people are really gonna pay attention right you guys all you yeah, guys seen that video insane, right I, i've heard that and it, it's crazy right now it's from ib times and he is quoted saying, and I quote, the chance of another pandemic in the next 20 years, either natural or intentional, I'd say is over 50%. And th by the way, this is, he, he said this during a summit called the Time 100 Summit. I think it happened last wow. year. Um, well, of course he knows, because he's in charge of it, <laughs> right? Like he's yeah. gonna be the one pulling the levers. Yeah, so, uh, and there's a couple of times here, basically saying 50% chance. Uh, basically, this, what he's saying, and, and um, what what he believes to be the cause of the next pandemic could come from climate change. Um, so here he is, uh, quoted again, and similar quote says, or it could come something, uh, it could be something that makes the leap from the natural world. So he's talking about the next pandemic. We are invading more, quote, says, or it could come something, uh, it could be something that makes the leap from the natural world. So he's talking about the next pandemic. The human population is growing and we are invading more and more ecosystems. We heard that before, right? Mm -hmm. That is why I calculate that there is a 50% chance. Isn't there a 50% chance for everything? That's kind of weird. <laughs> uh, that we will have a pandemic, next pandemic of a natural origin in the next 20 years as a consequence of climate change. Generating a variant that would be even more transmissive and even more fatal. So he doesn't want the pand pandemic to stop. He wants the emergency to keep going because guess what? He's making money. So um, here's a couple more clues. Uh, asking Bill funding more money towards preparing for the next pandemic. We need to form a team uh, called GERM, Global Epidemic Response and Mobilization. And he's he's asking billions of dollars to fund this, mm -mm -mm. right? And that's, and by the way, that's, that's, his, that's his, his team, right? He wants new technology, medical technology, better versions of the you know, PCR test, right? He wants all of these things. He's very, he's taking very techno pharmaceutical lab approach to this, right? But you know what I find, found to be interesting is that he makes no mention of individual individual readiness through, you know, uh, nutrition, mm, proper health. vitamin, health, yeah. diet. He makes no mention of, you know, things like Eastern medicine, right? Natural remedies, no mentions at all, at all right? So this is, I mean, his book is basically a business plan for, for all the world <laughs> leaders saying, hey, I got the solution, give me yeah, money, sure. I have it. And uh, Bill Gates is actually a um, couple of History, history doesn't repeat itself, but it's got patterns. Right. And this, for me, is no different than what Rockefeller did mm -hmm. with the oil industry. I mean, he did a lot of things to shut down the EV, right? People don't know. Electric vehicles were around for a long time, right? right. Before Elon Very Musk. Elusive. You know, Elon Musk even came around, right? Yeah. But I mean, it's the same thing that, you know, the Carnegies did it, the Vanderbilts did it. Like, they will do things to keep their business and their financial interests aligned with the masses 100 percent. you know i mean yeah. it's weird man it's like they're kind of playing god you yeah know? so it, it's you know. weird man it's like they're kind of playing god you yeah know? so it... all right shalom <clears throat> this is her one by nyasha allah of the lions den camp when i say ka halayim le yahawa ba hashim hawa shai ba hashim hawa ka kwadash ma'amaf double honor to the elder apostles of gms and their elders shalom to you akim nakwati my children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, this is a quick lesson, man, uh, dealing with, as you heard in, the, in, the, in the, uh, the clip in the beginning of this video, I think they called the Quack Twins or the Squat Twins, <clears throat> these two Moabites. But they, I think they're over here in America. 
and they got a page where they're talking about current events. But they let they laying it out. You know, we know it as prophecy. That's why Habakkuk two say, um, at the end they shall speak. All right, the prophecies are speaking, and Esau is making their moves. They're being revealed as the as the deceivers, as Satan, like the scriptures speak of, revealed that they're the Edomites. You got people like Bill Gates, Klaus Schwab, stepping up to the forefront. You know, um, I'm sure they're not the top people, but they they're up there. You know what I mean? You had um, <clears throat> yeah, Kanye West talking about a, a family called the Medici or something like that. You got the Rothschilds. You got all all these families. You know these um, elite families, and they're the ones pushing this agenda. All right, and they're using people like uh, you know Gates to bring the corporations together, and the, and he's buying up all the land. He got a he got a copyright. Oh, what do you call that, man? <clears throat> is it a copyright? It's not a copyright. It's a um. Uh, what is it called? Hold on. Yeah, I had to remember the word. It's a patent. All right, he got a patent on the, on the um. You know the elixir that everybody getting. He got a, he got a patent and it's zero six zero six zero six. It's like it's it's showing you they're setting up for that. Uh, the MOTB, Revelation 13, 16. All right? And they're depopulating as we speak. You're seeing uh, a lot of these um, athletes catching what they call myo myocarditis, which is, is a scar within the heart. All right? And uh, any type of extreme activity, like running, working out, and all that, that's what's causing it to happen mixed with what they did, you know, uh, during the lockdown. All right. <clears throat> so, and you got people like uh, Gates buying up all the farmland. They talking about pushing fake meats, you know, artificial uh, beef, and moving everything towards digital. All right. And he's saying there's going to be another pandemic a um, or plague, but this time it's going to be dealing with global warming. <laughs> but we all saw this coming, you know. That's the agenda. Once you hear that topic, that's how you know it's that's them. That's that's the, that's the uh, who you would call Lucifer that's pushing that the Illuminati, the elites. Whenever you hear that global warming topic, that's that's their area um, of of where their agenda is in the details. All right, so I'm going to get a couple of scriptures real quick. Um, this is Isaiah 14 and 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? All right, Lucifer just means illuminated one. And uh, and who is that? That's, that's those elites. All right. Um... Son of the morning, how art thou fall? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nation in countries like America and Biden, and the elites over here and the elites over in Europe? They're the ones that's been weakening the nations, all right, through their wars, the demonocracy, their policies, through their dollar, through the weather, especially with harp, H A A R P. <clears throat> um. But it barium oxide, all right, certain metals or whatever they're using to reflect the sun rays back at itself, causing corona max ejections, which causes all kind of space weather to go crazy, heating up the earth, cooling up, cooling the earth, causing these freak storms that's happening in America right now. All right, and um, and what they're saying is that humans have expanded into um. You know, um, into into the animals and, and you know parts of the earth, the uh, habitats of the animals. So they want to. Really, what they're saying is they want in too much carbon. Humans breathe out carbon, and it's really Esau that did that. That expanded all over the earth, built their corporations and their warehouses. You know, digging into the earth, drilling. 
uh, wars, right? So they're the ones that scattered everybody all over the damn earth. All right? But um, so of course they want to blame everybody else <laughs> for what they did. They're the ones that destroyed the earth. You know, destroying the earth, weakening the earth, I would say. But, uh, yeah, man, so, that you know, that's what they're doing, man. They, they're moving towards this new world order, but it's, it's that order out of KO, order out KO, which means they cause the, the, uh, the problem, and then they come up with a solution. And that's what you got people like Gates saying, that he's, he got the solution. So they saying, hey, uh, he's saying he want to get paid, and if he gets paid, then um, if he get paid, then he want to, uh, you know, from there, uh, he's saying he got the solution, all right? And that's just it. Sorry about that. I was distracted by this person next to me. And um, so he found a way to get more money. That's what it's all about, getting richer. So he need the pandemic so he can continue to get richer. All right? So it says here, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? So they're going to fall quick. Son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground which did us weaken the nations? And that's what they're doing. They're weakening the nations, man. All right? Through the dollar, right? Through this economy collapse, manipulating the market. It says, for thou hast said in thine heart, for thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. And that's what they said on this interview, or this podcast. They were like, yeah, it's like it's almost like they're playing God or something. And that's what they're trying to do. They're calling themselves the powers. All right, that's their paganistic belief. And since they have all the money, you know, they, they believe they can do it, uh, do whatever they want. For thou hast said in thine heart, see, this is their whole plan. I will ascend into the heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also in, upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high, man. They want to be like the most high, you know. But the Lord said, "What? Oh shit! The bloody dude about to hit my car. God damn, man! People are crazy out here, man. It says, uh, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. All right, so they're gonna be brought down." And destroy it. Yeah, it's all like it, man. There's all kind of distractions out here. Dude backing up, he's about to hit my car and shit. He's like right up on my bumper. This shit is crazy. All right. Um, now it says, They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee, saying, Is this the man that made the earth to tremble, that did shake the kingdoms? And that's what they're doing, they're causing the earth to tremble in fear right now and they shook they shook up kingdoms especially ever since the greek empire you know and now in these times all right they're shaking up the kingdom they're causing the world to go to war that made the world a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of his prisoners and that's america and that's esau's um whole system really they're like that in Europe as well alright so um, this is Ephesians 2 and 2 wherein in times past ye walked according to the course of this world right we don't walk according to the course of Esau's world Esau's ways yeah we gotta the Lord said render unto Caesar what it Caesar's man you pay your taxes you go to work and you live out your slavery or whatever you call it, or you start you a business or something, 
but to live according to this world, meaning their religions, their idolatry, right? Um, their ways, their their, tra their traditions, their celebrations. The, the uh, you know so their policies that they're pushing, this new world order, this system. That's their ways. That's this. That's their world. It says according. According to the prince of the power of the air, man. All right, and that's Esau. The spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, you know, and that goes deeper into them controlling even um, what you would call the weather systems, being able to manipulate it, I mean. All right, so that's why they said, yeah, 2023 is going to be crazy. Or the, you know, the weather, and they're gonna be blaming stuff on global warming, which ultimately points at humans, saying we gotta get rid of humans, depopulate humans. That's what they want to do, and they want to they want to say, hey, we're we're trying to we're trying to fix the earth and let the earth breathe. So <laughs> they they feel like they can de delete humans. All you got to do is get these corporations out of the way that's causing all the carbon, right? Let people travel the world, expand and spread out, but they're not doing that. So, you know, it's all it's all a lie, all right? All they're doing is weakening the earth, you know, they, they, um, poisoning the waters, you know, poisoning the food with GMOs and splicing it. You know, um, destroying the meat, the job, the jobs, the people. So the earth is is weaker, but the Lord said, "What the, the earth shall abide forever." So Esau can't destroy the earth. They just they just you know completely, but they did they are destroying it in the sense of. Um, weakening the earth all right over time and over their their lifestyle the way they live they don't even keep the land sappers they're continually drilling continually hunting all the animals most of the animals are extinct and now they want humans to be extinct and more bring in more uh, digital or robots just like on Terminator or the Matrix All right, Second Ezra is 14 and 15. And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. So these are the times to set aside this world and the thoughts that are most heavy unto us. All right. And focus on what the Lord is saying right now and the prophecies. And haste, and haste to flee from these times. And we haste to flee from these times by doing this work, doing these videos. That's how you haste and push and the envelope, you know, rowing the boat, building the ark like Noah did, doing the work, like, like building the wall for Israel, just like Nehemiah, right, during the times of Nehemiah. So they all had a mind to work, all right? So that's hasting to flee from these times, doing the work, not going to, to your job, learning new skills, meeting a new woman, Traveling the world, that's not hastening to flee from these times. Hastening, to, not going to church, right? Hastening to flee from these times is um, doing the work, all right? That goes along with Revelation chapter 7. But these times are what? Evil. For It says what? For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. And that's what the Lord was saying to Ezra. For look how much, for look how much the world shall be weaker through age, man. And over time, especially with Esau's rulership, they have weakened the earth. You know, drilling. Everything is about commerce to them and money. And through that, they drain the earth of its of its resources through their greed and the masses of wealth that they have. For look how much the world shall be weaker through age, man. And they're, they're helping in that process to weaken the earth. 
and the Lord's going to show up and fix the earth. The scriptures say the tree's going to rejoice, meaning they're going to expand and grow around the world. It's, gonna be, it's also going to freshen the air. And that fire, the, the ICBM missile, that's going to clean the air too. All the pollution over here. America's polluted, spiritually and physically. All right? For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. For look how much more, the, how much the world shall be weaker through age. And that's, the, that's what they're trying to use for their whole global warming. You know? So much more, the more shall evils increase upon them that dwell therein. For the time is fled far away, and leasing is hard at hand. For now hasteneth the vision to come, which thou hast seen, man. So we're way deep into the night. And the day is about to dawn. You know, which is the kingdom. You know, so Esau is making their move, like the Lord said. He said they're going to come in rushing like a, like a flood. They're coming down with great wrath because they know they got but a short time. But when they make their move, the Lord's going to make his move. All right. Yep. This is Revelations 11 and 12. You know, all kind of stuff going on out here. All right, but uh, yeah, this is Revelation 11 and 12. And, and they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. All right, come up hither. Um, hold up, so I can. All right, this is the one I need right here Revelation 11 and um, 16. And the four and twenty elders which sat before Yahweh on their seats fell upon their faces and worshipped Yahweh, saying, We give thee thanks, O Yahweh Almighty, which art and was and, and art to come, because thou hast taken to thee thy great power and has reigned, man. So the Lord operates outside of what we call time. That's what that represents right there, the past, the present, and the future. So the Lord operates and lives outside of that. All right. So, um, and the nations were angry and thy wrath is come and the dead, the time of the dead that they should be judged and that thou shouldest give reward unto the servants, thy prophets. So the Lord is going to judge the wicked and give reward to his prophets. To the saints and to them that fear thy name, that's the rest of the elect. Small and great. And that's why we say um, women and children, you know, and, and, and the brothers out there that believe in sincerity and in truth. And, and should have destroyed them that destroyed the earth, man. See, that's what Esau is doing. They're destroying the earth. And it, with, with, while they're doing that, they're not going to destroy it completely, but they're, they're weakening the earth. That's the focus, all right, with their harp weapons, because it's really a weapon or the technology, I'll say, all right, causing droughts and floods and forest fires. So they're weakening the earth. All right, so the Lord going to destroy them for that. <laughs> He's going to destroy them for that as well, man. But in the kingdom, the, the Lord is going to look. He said this right here. This is Revelation 21 and 4. And Yahweh shall wipe, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, this is in the kingdom, shall wipe away all tears, man. And, that, and when, um, when all hell is breaking loose upon the earth, it brings, according to Revelation 6, sorrow, death, and hell, and great mourning. So there's going to be a lot of tears and sadness and loss. All right, <clears throat> in the times to come before the kingdom. But the Lord shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, man, meaning we're going to be perfect, you know, and live forever and, and give them righteous bodies. And there shall be no more death, meaning we're not going to sin or go off 
to which would cause us to be put to death. We're going to be immortal and eternal and perfect. Neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. Right? So, where was I? Uh, what is the point? All right, here you go. Revelation 21 and 5. It says, uh, it said, what the former things are passed away, man. The former things is what Esau's rulership. All right, this wicked kingdom, all the wicked empires that were upon this earth, are all passed away. And that's what the Lord is going to is going to do away with them destroying the earth. He said, only he that now letteth will let until he be removed out of the way. Just like the concrete are blocking the grass from growing. Once it get removed, that that um, affliction or that uh, that heavy weight of concrete then the grass can grow so once the Lord re removes the heavy burden of Esau from upon us then the, the, we'll be able to grow like we, we uh, would like to as a nation alright and he that sat upon the throne so that's Yahweh and the son Yahweh Shai. He says, What? Behold, I make all things new. So he's making everything new. It's going to be refreshed. You know, so forget Esau's new world order. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has their new world order coming. It's going to be a righteous order. You know, and it's going to be starting with the Israelites, the elect of Israel. All right. So it says, he makes all things new. So he's going to what? He's going to, and he said unto me, write for these things, these words are faithful and true and faithful. All right. So the Lord is going to wipe away all tears. He's going to do away with everything that Esau is doing, man. They destroyed the earth and the Lord is going to destroy them for destroying the earth and weakening the earth. And the Lord is going to remake all things new, fix everything. Job 20 and 4. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon the earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? So they're triumphing. What, what their agenda is to, to take all the resources from the earth so people can be more dependable upon them, be more needing from them, so that the, the less resources or the less access to those resources then that gives power to the ones that have the um, the inside scoop, which would be the illuminated ones or Lucifer, all right, the elites, the whole con the whole conglomerate of those Edomites that are running th running the show right now. All right, that the triumph that I think they can uh, they can control and guide humanity, steer humanity in a satanic direction. That's what they want to do. But the Lord is going to take the will. Yahweh Shah. Know it's not right that the triumphing of the wicked is short. All right. It says, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reaching unto the clouds, man, them being proud. And, and uh, just like Nimrod was trying to go beyond the clouds or up to the heavens with the Tower of Babel, Esau has went beyond the clouds. And go, have gone in this, um, the exosphere, which would be out basically in space, right? Even thinking to to rule from there, from space. All right. It says, "Yet he shall perish forever, like his own dung." All right, and that represents them being in in the heavenly state or being the head, and and we became the tail, or we became the, in the perished in the dung. Now that's going to turn, and we're going to be exalted above the clouds, and they're going to be perished away like their own dung, like their own shit that flushes away in the toilet and is forgotten about. All right? They which have seen him shall say, where is he? So ain't going to be no more Microsoft and Apple and, you know, and all these damn computer, computer world. 
people like or the technocrats like like you know uh gates and such all right this is our prayer to the lord see that you look around at jake and the lord said be circumspect so when you look around you see other people ain't, a lot of people ain't worrying about it they're just going about their their, their daily routine it, it clearly they literally sleep man you know this is Psalm 7 and 9. Oh, oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. That's what we want, man. For, for Esau and their little sinister grins that they be having. Bill Gates popping up. So there's going to be another one, another pandemic coming. You know, it's trying to stoke, stoke fear in people. Them poisoning the air, poisoning the people. Like you would do a, a damn roach. At your house, you set out the bait, and they they come to the bait, and then they get poisoned, and they carry it to the colony, and they poison the others. All right, but we saying what? Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked of Esau come to an end, and that goes with Second Ezra, uh, I think chapter six. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. But but establish the just, all right, the elect of Israel. Establish us, the hopeful elect. For the righteous of Yahweh try the hearts and the reins. All right. My defense is of Yahweh, and that's what we're fighting, the good fight of faith, and we're defending the Lord's word in his name. In his son's name, and the testimony about Yahweh Shai, and the prophecies, and we're truly defending Israel with the Lord, with doing the work, because we call upon our Lord, the Lord protects, uh, uh, puts a covering over us. All right. My defense is of Yahweh, who saveth the upright in heart. So the Lord is going to save us from what's to come. All right, so um, this is Luke chapter 10, verse 18. So as soon as the foundation was set with Peter through Yahweh Shai, the Lord gave us that power to tread, to tread upon these uh, the wicked in the spirit. That's why the Lord said he's consuming them with the power of his mouth, of, of his word, through his men. Luke 10 and 18. And he said unto me, I beheld Satan, meaning them adversaries, people like Mr. Gates here. I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. So they could buy up all the farms they want, you know, buy up all the seeds, whatever they plan on doing, it's all in vain. Be, so he's going to fall like lightning. I beheld Satan fall like lightning, like, you know, from the earth. From the heaven, I mean, so like, so they exalted themselves up, and they, they, they say that the higher you are, the, the, the faster, the bigger the fall is. The taller you are, the harder you fall. So, the, you know, so them being so highly exalted and reigning and running the show, well, they're gonna have an extreme, mighty fall epic fail behold I give you I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions the scorpions also represents two thirds of our people and the serpents them damn heathens alright so the Lord gave us power you see that so um, and that's why that's how we fighting for our people For the elect. And over all the power of the enemy, see, we got power over all the enemy, all the power of the enemy, even um, their disease warfare or their missiles, or whatever they're planning. Concentration camps, the Lord gave us power over all of that. We got Yahweh on our side. If Yahweh be with us, who can be against us? If he be for us, man. And that's what we're praying that he's for us each individual that's in this truth sincerely that he chooses us in that day he's already chosen who he's going to get but you know reveals 
that we are those people, you know, his children, his elect. He said, then shall it be known who are my chosen. All right? Uh, but the Lord has gave us power. He's given us a sword to fight with. That's his, that's his word. And it is working. It is consuming these devils. All right? So the Lord said, What? Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And ultimately, it's going to manifest in the spiritual power. And nothing shall by any means hurt you. And that's in that day. Once the Lord manifests who his men are, nothing's going to hurt them from that point. You might walk down and get a little prick on your finger or stomp your damn toe. But in that day, you're going to be fully protected. Notwithstanding, in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. All right, that's what we, we need to rejoice about, is that our names are written in heaven. All right? Because if your name is written in heaven, in the book of life, then that means the Lord is going to deliver you from what's coming, you know, the salvation. So this is predestined right there. That's another predestination scripture right there. All right, those whose names are written in the book of life. It's already written. Second Ezra 16 and 61. He made man and put his heart and put his heart in the midst of the body and gave him breath and life and understanding. All right. So the understanding that we have or and the breath that we have and the, the, the life that we're living. The pulse the pulse that we have when we breathe and the air that we breathe in and out. The Most High created that, even for for these these heathens. Yea, and the Spirit of Almighty Yahweh, which made all things and searcheth out all things, all hidden things, in the secrets of the earth. So the Lord knows all the secrets out of the earth, but He also knows where Esau's secrets are. At. All right, the secret societies. Surely He knows of your invention, so He knows what Esau is up to. He knows what they're doing with the heart weapons and everything. So when they talk about global warming, we know that's one step closer to depopulation. All right? And him getting richer while more people who are dying on the earth. Dropping dead on the basketball courts and the soccer fields and gymnastics, all kind of shit. Surely he, surely he know of your inventions and what ye think in your hearts even them that sin and would hide their sin, right? I brought this out the other day, I think. Isaiah 14 and 19. Oh, 18. This is in the kingdom, man. So Esau is going to be cast out of the earth. That way say saw, saw Satan like lightning fall into the earth. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Talking about Esau. All right. Being brightened. Isaiah 14 and 18, all the kings of the nations, even all them lie in glory, every one in his own house. All right, so in the kingdom, after a thousand years, these nations are going to get, get, um, go to their lands and they're going to be given some parts of, some form of uh, status of living. But Esau is going to be cast out. All right, they ain't going to get anything. They're going to be in the prisons, all right, in the pit. But thou art cast out of every one in his own house, but thou art cast out like of thy grave, like an abominable branch. <laughs> and as the raiment of those that are slain thrust through with the sword that go down to the pit, the stones of the pit, as a, as a carcass trodden underfoot. See, the Lord said he gave us power to tread upon serpents. So in that day, they're going to get tread upon, all right? Right now it's spiritual, but in the kingdom it's going to be physical. And they're going to be stomped so low through the ground, spiritually speaking, that they're going to be, they're going to reach all the way to the bottom of the stones that would be at the bottom of a grave. So if they're going to be put low, the Lord said they're going to be put lower than, lower than low. We would, we would put at the bottom, 
But the Lord said they're going to be put double into into the into the, uh, the slavery and drink the cup of the Lord, the Lord's wrath. All right. It says, "Thou shalt not be born, be joined with them into the burial, because thou hast destroyed thy land." All right. So they, so when they uh, getting set up and established in the kingdom, these nations once they get their ass whooped. They get put in slavery, and then they get some type of status once their punishment is done. Um, it says, what? Esau is not going to be joined with them. <laughs> They're going to say, no, nah, I got special, something special for y'all after a thousand years. They're going to be wiped off the earth. Because thou hast destroyed thy land and slain thy people. All right, Esau is Jacob's brother. The seed of evildoers shall never be renowned. All right? So, yeah, man, that's what's coming. So, I'm in the dare, man. Uh, I just saw this earlier, and they were spilling the beans. They were saying everything that we talk about. So, that, that let us know. That should, let, that should let everyone know that's in this truth that we're even that closer. Because people starting to see it, and the scriptures say, all eyes shall see it together. And the prophecies are speaking. All right, so let them make their moves. Let them buy up this land that's already bought up by Esau. They're just passing it around. Let them buy up all the farms and destroy the food. Our father's going to take care of us. All right, so we ain't nothing to fear, you know. So with that, I'm going to say uh, Shalom. Stay encouraged.